Hey guys, Mikhail here for another device deal video. Today we're looking at the exciting new innovation from the Wi-Fi world. We're looking at the Wi-Fi 7 Archer gaming router, the Archer GE800. So this is something that's going to be revolutionary in the gaming space. And if you're looking at things like getting rid of, you know, sluggish speeds or minimizing your dead spots, this is something that's going to be incredible to look at. And we're going to take a deep dive in just a moment. So before we go on to the router itself, I just wanted to briefly talk about Wi-Fi 7 as the new standard which is being released. I uh, just wanted to say that it's got some incredible improvements on the Wi-Fi 6 standard which is going to be revolutionary in the whole internet space. Uh, you've, got, you've got some speeds which are going to be five times faster than Wi-Fi 6. The capacity is going to also be five times greater than Wi-Fi 6 and up to 100 times lower latency. So all these things to combine are going to generate an unbelievable experience in the future with the new standard being released nationwide. Okay, so now we're going to have a look at the unboxing of this unbelievable device. So first thing I do definitely notice, it's definitely got a, quite a lot of weight to it. And from what I've read into it, it's to do a lot with the actual fan that's inside to keep it cool because it does require a lot of power. Um, so you'll notice that and then inside you'll see a nice cool little box. This has just got your instruction manuals and whatnot, uh, LAN cable, uh, just a little tool reset key, power adapter, And then for the creme de la creme, the machine itself. So as you can see, it's got quite a bit of size to it, definitely compared to, I guess, a standard router. It's got a bit more height to it. Um, something that's a bit different compared to a lot of traditional routers you'll see is that the antennas are inside. So it's a lot less of an eyesore, which I think is, is much nicer to look at. Um, so rather than having, so it's got eight antennas and rather than having eight separate things sticking out, it's basically all just hidden inside and gives it a bit more of an aesthetic look to it. So here we have it in front of us. As mentioned, it's probably a little bit bigger than what you're traditionally used to as far as a router is concerned. Definitely has a lot more height, um, but there's good reason for it. As we mentioned with all the antennas, you've also got a lot of ports on it as well. So, I mean, we can show you on the back, we have uh, four dedicated LAN ports and then two additional ports as well, which are actually for 10 gigabits. So, the really big thing we'll talk about momentarily is about the max, the unreal speed this thing is capable of, which you can be used for things like just top level gaming, or if you're doing some 4K or 8K streaming, or maybe even in the future when VR becomes a lot more apparent and a, bit, and a lot better quality, you'll need something like this to support you at a really streamlined, uh, flawless level. All right, now we wanna dive in a little bit more on the actual specifications of this unreal beast. Firstly, the speed. So as we mentioned at the start, it's a tri-band router that's got this new 6 gigahertz band that is a lot wider and can provide a substantial amount better faster speeds compared to anything on the Wi-Fi 6 field. So on this router here, you can get up to 11 or more than 11,000 megabits a second on the 6 gigabit band and more than 5,500 megabits a second on the 5 gigahertz band. So I think overall between all the three bands, you can get around up to 19 gigabits a second, which is unbelievable and huge. So again, anything to do with a lot of high quality streaming, 4K, even 8K down in the future, this stuff is going to be flawless on top of anything gaming. If you're a competitive gamer as well, this is something that's gonna be super suitable for you because you're not gonna get any distractions. So not only does it have impeccable speed, but it also covers a great large distance as well. And not only does it already have a really great distance it can cover within the machine itself, it's also got easy mesh capability. So if you're buying a TP-Link branded easy mesh extender or router, you can sync it all together to really create a, a unified larger home network to cover all types of spaces. When it comes to the Archer G800, it's really all about staying ahead of your competition, particularly in gaming. This new router uh, features some quad acceleration for games. You can say goodbye to jitter, lag, and ping spikes. With optimized connections and minimized latency, you'll experience smoother gameplay like never before. As TP-Links likes to say, it's your magic weapon to all gaming. 
So again, we just wanted to reiterate about the compact nature of the device. While it's taller than a normal router, uh, it's got a really nice blend to home decor, particularly with the nice kind of colour scale and no protruding antennas. It's something that can definitely suit any home without looking like an eyesore. So not only does it have impeccable Wi-Fi speeds, but if you really want to have that incredible reliability with your connection, particularly when it comes with gaming, you can have incredible uh, wired speeds as well. So as we mentioned a little bit earlier, you've got a number of LAN ports which can support 2.5 gigabits. They even have a dedicated gaming port so that you, know, you don't have any other interruptions along the way. So just to ensure there's zero disruptions at all. And then on top of that, you've also got two 10 gigabit ethernet ports as well. So these are some unheard of speeds when it comes to router, especially in a home type network. So it's really taken advantage of the Wi-Fi 7 standard. Another thing I really wanted to mention that I find really cool about the Wi-Fi 7 standard as a whole and something that this router can implement as well is multi-link operation. So this essentially is taking your three bands as a tri-band router and allows you to connect to essentially all of them at the same time. Uh, you may find currently with the Wi-Fi 6 standard when you connect your device to your router, you find that there's two network names for each band. And depending on where you're situated, you might you choose one or the other because you either want greater speed but you need to be closer to it or you want greater distance and so you go for the 2.5 gigab gigabyte band. Um, with this one, you can essentially have it all unified and be connected to all three at the same time. So that not only lowers latency, but greatly improves your throughput as well. And I guess it's just something less to think about. So again, really just highlighting the experience you have with less interruptions or disruptions, uh, anything to do with lags or jitters, it just eliminates the need of any of that. So something I've always really liked about TP-Link is how easy it is to use. And with their app, the TP-Link Tether app, it's no different. It's incredibly easy to use and set up. And on top of that, the, the app gives you an incredible amount of control. So you can set priorities to devices. Again, if you have gaming devices, you can kind of control the bandwidth so that you've got more traffic being allowed to go to that particular device. You can even um, incorporate things like parental controls and just basically the entire control of your network without overcomplicating things. You know, that's the whole thing that's uh, really good about TP-Link is it's ease of use. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to be able to manage these controls and settings and functions. Let's not forget about security. This TP-Link router comes with TP-Link's Home Shield, which allows you to have really great antivirus control, uh, as well as protecting your data and any online threats, which is of course going to be a must uh, when gaming or using anything of this caliber. So there you guys have it. There's your review video for the TP-Link Archer GE800. If you're someone that wants unparalleled performance, super fast speeds and advanced features, you cannot go further than this router right here. It's gonna be the next big thing for gamers and for streamers alike, where you're gonna be able to support your 4K, 8K and VR streaming down in the future. Um, it's definitely something you need to look at, not just for now, but in the future as well. You're gonna get all the control in the world you can get to control your particular bands, prioritize anything you need to. This really does everything you can possibly imagine, guys. So I really hope you enjoyed that. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to us with, uh, in our comments below. You can also reach us at devicedeal.com.au where you can reach us by phone, email, or live chat. And I really hope to see you in the next one, guys. Hope you enjoyed it.